Boys and girls, welcome back to the docks here in beautiful Les Sables and I'm here with a, a really well-known and well-loved man, Quito de Pavon. And Quito, I wonder, you know, I think I have this uh, a belief that having a good nickname is the key to winning of On the Globe. What do you think? <laughs> oh, I, I, I hope um, I, 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 I prepare very well this this uh, this Van de Globe because we we work uh, for five years with this boat, with this sponsor, with Group Bell, and with my team, always the same people on, on the on the on the boat. Uh, so I think uh, we are very well prepared to 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 make this uh, this Vendée Globe, and we hope uh, only one thing is to finish the race. Well. The last Vendée Globe, and again, you, you, you've had this, this beautiful Verdier yeah. VPLP boat. This was one of the first of the new breed of the boats. It's a very well-sorted out and powerful boat, and you set off for the Vendée, and you broke in 24 hours. Yeah. You broke the mast. It's terrific. Yeah, yeah I mean, yeah. I can't imagine how horrible that you work for something for years, and then it's gone, <laughs> right? So how does that change the way that you approach the beginning of this race? I, uh, for sure, it's not uh, really the, it's not uh, the same feeling for me for for, for the the start of the Vendée Globe because uh, I think the next uh, edition uh, we we start for win the, the Vendée Globe in uh, uh, because uh, with Bell with uh, all the races we we have done in uh, uh, with Figaro. Mm -hmm. Uh, we are in a uh, euphoric period uh, and we think we have the, the, the better boat and we think we, are, we, are, we have all the, the, the competence to, to win the, this Van der Globe. Today we know it's not an easy, an easy thing to, no. to, to go on the sea, to make space with this kind of boat, uh, make the round of the, of the world in uh, single-handed. Uh, without uh, stop and uh, w without assistance is not uh, easy work. Yeah? No, no. <laughs> no. And we hope we have uh, work enough to to make this world this stop. So, would you say that this time is is it's all about the race and not so much about the aventure? Uh, the Vendée Globe is first uh, an aventure. Uh, uh -huh. uh, for, first of, of, of all, it's an aventure. It's always also um, a, a competition uh, for everything, for the boat uh, during the, the three months of the race, and of course we we want to to finish, but also uh, to arrive uh, before my my friends. <laughs> you know, um, Ronnie just had a look through the boat, and what he told me is that of all these boats, this one is, pro I think, for sure, the most customized, right? Customized yeah. to you. Yeah. You have the yeah. seats. Yeah. You yeah. have everything is yeah. everything is set up for the way yeah. you love to sail the boat. Yeah, okay? because because I'm old. <laughs> you know? Because you're old. You're, how old are you? Uh, Fifty-one. Okay, not yeah. that old. <laughs> no, because because I I I sail a lot during my my life. Well, that's so, it. And you sail on this boat all the time. You go to Algeria. You go you go all yeah. over for Group L. Everywhere we make a, a Key West. For I mean, around of the world with this boat. Four times. For, yeah. Well, so, the so so we yeah we, with uh, with my my uh, my sponsor with Group Bell we visit a lot of countries sure. everywhere in Mediterranean in Syria in Egypt. Uh, in Canada, in uh, USA, in England too, and uh, it was fan fantastic to to meet these these people, all the uh, the employees of the of the boat. They have the the, 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 the fingerprint in the. They in all the put their fingerprint. All the employees that yeah. they meet put their fingerprint in uh, on a sticker, and then they put it on the mast. It's incredible, right? the success uh, of, of the project uh, in the factories of Bell is incredible, really. We've been talking a lot about sponsorship and how it, it was different in the old days, very different from 10, 15 years ago to now. And today, yeah. sponsorship is like, um, like your job is to go and see Group Bell and take the boat to great places. And it's almost like the Vendée Globe is like your bonus, you know? <laughs> that's like extra. That's not your job. Your job is to do all the other stuff, you know? And that's, I mean, is that your full-time job is making sure that Group Bell is happy, right? 
Yeah, probably the, the sponsorships are very. Uh, uh, is not exactly the same that if, uh, ten years ago, uh, because uh, ten years ago uh, the the big society can make a lot of uh, money on everything, and they it's can all right. Just write a check yeah, and it's yeah. Okay. Uh, now it's very important to explain to the to the employees why we do that. And to prove, yeah. Yeah, to prove it's a good thing. It's very uh, uh, there is a good values to to sponsor uh, a boat. I think the sale is very good for all sponsors, sponsor of all society because the name of the boat is Bell. It's not my name or the name of I I, I don't know why. Right. So. I think the the sponsorship, the the the, the race like the Vendée Globe, is a, a very good opportunity for the for the sponsors. You know, you you've made a, a lot of modifications uh, to the boat yeah. in the last five year, four years since she was launched. Yeah. Um, what have you done specifically that you think that'll get this boat as fast as the new new boats, Massif or pa pa uh, Verbac or what? It's quite the same boat. Yeah. You know, there is a lot, a lot, a lot of diff difference between Massif or, or Bell or, or, or Vierbach. Even though it's this a, is four years newer? Yeah, for, uh, th there is some difference. Uh, they are more uh, wide. And uh, we, we, change, we change not a lot of things. Uh, I think the, the people on, on the platoon seems ex exactly the same boat right. uh, than four years ago. But we change a lot of things inside. The, um, the, the, the weight of the boat is, uh, is less. Uh, we change the uh, volume of the ballast. It's a uh, uh, big, big, uh, big job. Uh, the, the, wa the water tanks? Yeah, the water tanks. Uh, they are not uh, exactly the, s the same. It's a, a great, 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 great jo job because it's very diffi difficult to change uh, all we have done uh, four years ago. Mm -hmm. But it's, uh, it's very. Um, we, we we increase the, the performance of the of the boat. Uh, the mast is higher. Uh, so is you break your mast, you get a bigger yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> we make a, a short, short mass, it broke, so... <laughs> and how about, how about, what do you think about, I mean, obviously you have straight boards, but what do you think about the curved boards that we start to see more and more now in high-performance sailing? I, I, I don't know. I think there's two, two kind of mast of, of, of uh, this, this kind of, of, of no, mast. No, I'm talking about the, the, ah, the, the, ah, the, oh, the, oh, the dagger boards. Excuse, how do you say this in French? French? Yeah. How does it say in French? Derive. 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 Yeah, I think it's uh, just for 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 speaking for <laughs> for comment dire uh, faire parler les journalistes. It's, it's just <laughs> marketing, basically. You put it out there, and the journalists <laughs> like it. No, I think the, there is some very long l l dagger board. Yeah, like, like from the uh, Hugo Boss. Uh, huh? Hugo Boss is incredible. Yeah. Yeah, and we make some some study on on, on this dagger boat because uh, all the boats increase uh, the the length of the of the dagger boat. So we we, we ask to, to the, the architect why. Uh, so we, we make some study about that, and and I'm, I'm sure a short dagger boat is better uh, for 80 percent of time. So we have a simple. Uh, th th this boat is very simple because uh, because it's, it's lighter. Uh, a short dagger boat uh, is very shorter and less um, frein, comment on dit frein. Uh, uh, less drag. Yeah. yeah. Um, I also read that you had a, uh, a heater on board, which I remember uh, Mish Dej was one of the famous guys who put the heater on board, even though it's heavy and whatever. Um, but it's just too important to be warm. Is that right? <laughs> I don't understand. Uh, yeah. Heat, uh, chauffeur. Uh, chauffage. Ah, chauffage. We we have a, a, an eater right. on board because because uh, because we we go <laughs> <laughs> I'm old <laughs> but we we go in very cold uh, seas. It's very cold in south of in uh, Pacific and Indian Ocean. It's very cold and we have uh, sometimes some some problem with sails when we want to to repair sails. Now it's not uh, couture. No, it's no, not glue, no. right? Yeah, yeah, it's glue, and we can glue uh, glue some things with some something. something uh, so then one of the main reasons is make it warm yeah, so you can yeah. fix sails. And for the electronic, it's better uh, for repair 
carbon, for example, is, ve is very good. We, we choose this, uh, this heater uh, for the Barcelona World Race. And we think it's very a good thing. It's uh, it's uh, uh, we 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 can't start without it. I know I know Group L is um, uh, is is strong about uh, the environment and health and uh, all these things. Um, you see for some milk. for milk, right? Yeah. For health for and, 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 milk. and water and milk <laughs> and cheese, yum. Um, but the, uh, you know, we see some of these boats now with the wind things and the hydrogenerator and everything. What about you? No standard. Yeah, we have hydrogenerator, of course. It's very, very uh, good, good, good thing. And you know, lightweight uh, and yeah. small. Yeah. yeah, it's perfect. Uh, and we have also uh, an engine with uh, very uh, some some liters of of, uh, of gasoil. But how, very, mu how much did you like? Figure like eight years ago, if you sailed around the world, how much diesel, how much gas well did, would you use? Uh, for the next uh, Vendée Globe, the, the, the last Vendée Globe, uh, we have, I think, 300 liters of, uh, of uh, gas well. This year, we have only 150 liters. For all the way around the world? Yeah. But What's that, 40 gallons? Well, we think we think with hydrogenerator, the, the only problem is when the, the boat is very slow. Right. Yeah. So we can use uh, hydrogenerator very well when we 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 are up of ten knots. Uh, that that's its perfect uh, speed for for the hydrogenerator. Uh, when there is no wind, we have we are obliged to 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 turn with the uh, with the engine sure. with the diesel. I have a, a one last question. I I read that you. Were one of the people that charted, that made the les cartes pour uh, Tanganyika, <laughs> right? The rift. Yeah. And I love like the, I've always been fascinated by the African rift. Yeah. Can you explain what you did in Lake Tanganyika when you were what twenty something years old? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, I was very young, 20, 20, 21, I don't, I don't remember exactly. Uh, and I work with a, a big, uh, big society, uh, Elf Aquitaine. Uh, Fuel company. Yeah, fuel comp company, but uh, with uh, the, the scientist, the scientific, yeah, yeah, the scientific company uh, to th they look for uh, th they were lo looking for uh, the um, the um, the formation of uh, of oil, petrol, uh, everything on, on the lake. Uh, it was a lake uh, incredible, right? Uh, you, yeah. I, I mean, yeah. I've just it's, seen pictures, yeah. but it's it like a, probably the, the, the it's like a different the, the planet, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like uh, uh, Lac Léman, yeah. but <laughs> big, bigger, bigger, bigger. And yeah. nobody yeah. there. Nobody, only uh, uh, elephant, uh, monkeys, <laughs> lion, lions. And everything is incredible are experience. Are you like geologist or? Uh, no, 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 not at all. I'm just, I, I, yes, just, just. I'm, I, I work on, on the boat, and I, uh, I sail around the, the lake for two, two or three years. It was a fantastic experience. That's great. That's wild. Do you identify with? Um, I mean, obviously, you're from the Mediterranean. You're from the south of France. Yeah. Do you identify now more as a Nobody as a Breton or what? Yeah. <laughs> Nobody expects that. <laughs> <laughs> do no. you feel more Breton now, or do you still feel no, like no, you're no, strong? No, no, from no, no, no. The... I, I'm Mediterranean. I'm I'm very proud of, of, of that. Uh, and I think in Mediterranean we have, we have we have all all we need for for sailing. We have a good condition every time. Uh, yeah, the there's too many tourists, though. Yes, yeah, not 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 <laughs> not not always. <laughs> you know, we we cross the Atlantic, the, the Mediterranean in uh, April uh, to to go in uh, Algeria. It was fantastic um, uh, country. And they yeah, loved you. Nobody, nobody at, at all in Algeria. It's a it's fantastic country yeah, for sailing. Perhaps in a few years. Uh, we can go cruising in, uh, in Algeria. Ça yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. It's been <laughs> great to meet you. Check him out, Kito yeah, Tabavon. So, sorry for my English. No, uh, par parfait, parfait. <laughs> and this is this guy is um, this guy is due to get on the podium for sure. Okay. <laughs> <I hope so>. okay. <laughs>